Hi grade 12 student, so in this video I decided that I should not left any topic behind. So in this video we are going to do a question that is related to audit report. So this is the continuation from the question paper that we have started, which was written around March. Uh, it was a common test in 2019. Please make sure that you go and watch the other questions like income statement, ordinary share capital notes and retaining income notes as well as cash flow statement all right so let's check our question paper that we have so it, it was 1.3 uh, they said you are provided with the extract of the audit report from independent auditors of dundi limited okay then required number 1.3.1 why is the auditor's report addressed to the shareholders of Dundi Limited. So this question, obviously, when we talk about uh, audit report, guys, it's a theory question, but you don't have to ignore it because you will find that almost 30% uh, or 40% of your question paper, they are asking you a theory, which means that you must have some understanding so that you will be able to know how are you going to answer. All right, let's answer number one. Why is the auditor's report addressed to the shareholders of Dundee Limited? Maybe before we start answering this question, guys, let's go and check our scenario, okay? Extract from audit report, okay? Then opinion. In our opinion, this is the uh, opinion of auditors, né? They are reading it to shareholders. In our opinion, the consolidated and separate financial statement present fairly in all material respect okay then they said the consolidated and separate financial position of dundi limited as at 28 february 2019 and its consolidated and separate financial statement performance and its consolidated um, and separate cash flow for the year then ended in according with international financial reporting standard okay that's an I phrase and the requirements of the company act of South Africa. Okay, and they said MGM, chartered accountant South Africa, registered accountant and auditors. All right, so this is the opinion that they express according to how they check the financial statement of Dundi Limited. Okay, now let's go back to question 1.3.1. Why the auditors? Why is the auditor's report addressed to the shareholders of Dundee Limited? Why are they addressing uh, this report to, to the shareholders of this company? Why? Why are they doing so? Why the shareholders are listening to these auditors? The reason is very simple, guys. Remember, shareholders is the owner of what? Of the company. It's because shareholders... Shareholders are the owner of the company. Obviously, if you are the owner of the company, you must know you must know what is going on into your business. Okay, not only employees of the company, but shareholders as well. They 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 are the first one that must be informed that there is a war in a company. If there is a war or there is a something wrong in a company. A shareholders or the owner must know okay then 1.3.2 did the don't limited received and qualified unqualified or disclaimer opinion audit report okay and after that explain a quote relevant information from the report to motivate your answer okay so in this question they want us to pick which uh, audit report according to the extract that we are given remember we have three okay they already mentioned them number one is qualified number two unqualified and disclaimer opinion what i can remind you is that when we talk about number one a disclaimer opinion a disclaimer opinion guys is a worse it's a worse audit report because there is a lot of something that went wrong so if you find the scenario that is talking about uh, 
something that is not ethical you, you have to know that it's a what it's a disclaimer opinion which means that there are, there are a lot of things that goes wrong there are a lot of corruptions manipulation of uh, amount and sort of kind okay then we also have a qualified report a qualified report is not that bad however there are something that the auditors uh, could not express because there are some information that they they can't be able to to find it for example let's say a company said that they they give a donation to the charity but they don't have any evidence that the company did so which means that the auditor is going to do what to express a, a qualified he cannot express a disclaimer because there is no what there's no evidence which means that when we talk about a qualified audit report which means that it's good but there are something that a shareholders must explain okay then we have unqualified when we talk about unqualified of course everything um went well which means that there is nothing wrong according to what to expression of auditors but when the auditor expressed that he didn't find anything wrong it doesn't mean that there is nothing wrong he is just expressing that according to the time that he has been given he look everything and he find that everything it was fair and it was according to accounting standard okay now if you check on our scenario you will find that uh, the report that we have in this case is going to be unqualified the reason is very simple unqualified unqualified report the reason number one as you can see on the paragraph they say the financial statement are fairly presented okay number two you can say that auditor auditors could not could not identify identify any error all right so that's the answer for 1.3.2 that's how you identify whether it's qualified and qualified or disclaimer opinion okay then number 1.3.3 state two possible consequences that independent auditors could face should they be negligent in performing their duty so now they are based this question is based on the what on the auditors it's not based on the on the shareholders of of the company what could happen number one if the auditor as you know guys uh, some some companies they pay a money to, uh, to, uh, to 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 auditors in order for them to express the wrong opinion in order for them to express unqualified while there is something went wrong which means that if they find out that the auditor negligent his duty this is what could happen number one they can be arrested auditors can be arrested if they express the wrong report or the wrong opinion they could be arrested okay number two remember auditors are registered some of them they are registered with saika some of them they are registered with other board which means that those board can take what registration which means that these auditors they could be they could be deregistered these auditors could be deregistered so in this question i think they were looking for two possible um answers okay but you can also express that um, they can face a disciplinary but it's based it depend on the board some of them they they they, they prefer that uh, the auditor must be suspended okay 
and the other one that was given in this case auditors can be sued auditors can be sued by the shareholders they could be sued by shareholders but this one is depend what happened because if uh, the shareholders are the one who are suing auditors which means that maybe the auditor was lazy or was not doing his job in time or something like that so that's kind of the answers that you need to give when you are writing audit report question so i hope you enjoy and you learn something guys please 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 don't forget to subscribe when you uh, you are watching my videos please make sure that you subscribe and just like the video and go and check playlist and please guys those who have been purchased our study guide for accounting solution sa please make sure that you get your own copy so a soft copy is only 49 rand so we decided that we have to do only a soft copy because a hard copy that we are going to print out is going to be a lot of work delivery print out is going to be so much so is and it's going to be expensive so we just make it a soft copy um, that you can be able to read it when you're using your phone when you're using your computer so that it can be simple and cheap for you so i hope i'm gonna see you on the next one